So I'm going to make a, a login screen uh, in Python with uh, using tkinter. Behind the logging screen, we will make a main screen for your um, script. So let's start off by importing tkinter. So from tkinter import. <clears throat> start off by um, defining the main screen so this will be after the logging screen so this will appear after the logging screen so root equals to tk now we're gonna define a logging screen so we're gonna call it top and this is gonna be our top level and now we're going to make uh, the login screen. We're going to define the size and uh, images and text. So we're going to size our top. So the login screen is a, um, let's say, 300 by 260. That is going to be the size of the screen. And we're going to name the screen so login screen I'm gonna give it a background in my case it's gonna be a white background I'm gonna give it a logo so I want a logo on my login screen so let's call it photo that we need to define photo image and then have a gif file in the main directory where your script is going to be so for me I have a file called one dot gif and then we're going to make a label for the photo so label it's going to be in the top screen. It's going to be a photo, which is photo 2 as defined above. And the photo background is going to be white. Next off, we're going to make a label. So, label 1. This label is going to be for the username entry. Label in the top screen. Text is going to be username. We're going to use a font. So I'm using Helvetica in a size 10. So the font size is 10. And now we're going to make a entry button for this. So it's going to be like a box where we're going to enter the username. So let's call it entry1 equals entry and make it in the top directory screen. I'm going to make a label for the password. So label2 label top text equals to password again gonna use the same font Helvetica 10 and then make a entry box for this so entry 2 top and then this I want to show Asterix. So this one here. Yeah. So that it looks like you're entering a password. If you don't do this, you're not you're gonna see the password. Oh I typed this wrong. My bad. I'll go 
so far. So yeah, it's gonna show this instead of uh, your password. So it covers it up. And you're gonna make a button. So to gain entry to press, we're gonna make it that if you press the return key, the entry key on our keyboard, we're gonna enter our next screen, so the main screen, and we're gonna make a cancel button which is just gonna exit out of the script. So let's make the um, the exit button button top text cancel and for this we're going to need a command so you're going to make a command lambda command 2 so let's call it command 2 so we are now have to define command 2 so let's define command 2 gonna be command def command two um, top destroy root destroy so it's gonna destroy both our screens and then exit the script so let's import sys so this is this command, so this is going to use this command here. So, we are now going to make a function, so w once we press uh, the enter key, that we pass through the login and enter our root. So, let's do this, entry 2. So it's going to be connected to the password um, entry label. So once you enter the password and press enter, we should enter our main screen, so the root. So entry to bind, so we bind the return key. Okay. And we're going to make another function called command1 this command1 function is gonna define our username and password and um, you can make multiple users for this if you want so you can have you're gonna make it with two users so if entry one dot get um, so entry one is a username so you define here a username so let's say admin and entry two which is the password let's call it password let's define a second user so all entry one dot get um test and entry two gets pass. So if one of these is present, we're gonna the iconify our root iconify, which unhides uh, the root level and we're gonna destroy the top level which is the login screen so this removes the top level root now that we have this we also want another label on the login screen um, just for a bit of decoration make it look nice um, this is gonna be in a small font at the bottom so let's say copyright login screen to 18. Uh, give this a font area in size 9. Now we want to pack these elements that we have created so to arrange them in 
the login screen so we want our first thing to be our logo so we're gonna pack the photo then we want our first label pack it then we want the entry pack then we want the second label pack then we want our second entry then we want our second button so that's the cancel button and last but not least we want our third label let's pack it after this we are going to make our root i want to be simple on this so i'm just going to make a simple just white background so let's call it root title main screen give it a white background and we're going to give it a size of like let's say a bigger size 855 by 650 now the last step we're just going to run now we're going to start the event loop for the main route so first of all route withdraw, withdraw this hides the main route it's still present but just can't be seen or interacted with and the main loop let's save this so let's save let's run our program so Python tutorial dot py enter oh done something wrong the big L should be small so save this let's run it again um and something wrong here oh my bad this should be different should be this save it again let's hope it works now well another thing wrong Let's see what it is. Okay, it has to be two to close it. The brackets. Uh, it's two. Yeah, same thing here. We're all learning. We're all learning, guys. Don't worry. Last try. Well, now here we go. This is our login screen. This is the logo, username, password, cancel. So if you press on cancel, it should exit. If you type in a wrong password, so let's type anything, and you see the password. Is covered so if you press enter here it's not gonna enter if you do the right one so admin password press enter the return key um, we forgot event in uh, command one so because we are using a bind function we have to call an event that's an event so this should work now let's run it so if we put in something else it should not work but if you put in admin plus password here we go. 
we are in the main screen. 